Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. What is multi-value parameter in SSRS report? Parameter or parameters are used in reports to filter the data. Multi-value parameter can accept one or more than one values. So let's go ahead and take a look. I have created this report with multi-value parameter. So region is the name of the parameter and it can accept more than one value or even one value so you can see that right now asia region is selected i can select other regions as well and uh, if i would like i can select all of them so by selecting all it will work just fine so you can see that i have data for all three regions i can go ahead and uh, if i would like to just select one it's going to work just fine so that's why it is called a multi-value as we can pass uh, multiple values uh, to the query from this uh, parameter now once uh, let me go back to and uh, go to the parameter properties and I'll show you a few things uh, available values uh, the values uh, for the drop down uh, can can be extracted uh, from the database uh, so here I'm using uh, some query to extract those values uh, and uh, that's uh, what I'm showing now uh, I can also use some static values if I would like uh, or uh, I can just hit uh, none so once I hit none uh, if you will see here and uh, right now we have default val value Asia if I remove that now I can run for let's say Asia and Europe and this is how you will write your uh, parameter values uh, so now we can preview the report we have Asia and Europe uh, let's go back to the parameter properties and uh, take a look on the default uh, and here you see that specify values uh, we are passing some values uh, to this uh, parameter as a default uh, I can go ahead and change that uh, no default value so in, uh, once we will do that we will have no values uh, here so we have to write the values to get uh, the report data so let's say Asia Europe and then uh, we'll view the report uh, now uh, you see that uh, this uh, parameter can accept more than one values uh, and also it has options uh, to set the default values uh, as well as uh, we can provide the available values uh, that will show up uh, in the drop down uh, so as you, you remember that we had used uh, some query and uh, that will populate the drop down for us uh, and we can have uh, always uh, selection uh, from this drop down uh, we can select a single or more than one values uh, and uh, hit preview or a view report and this is how our report will uh, show so thanks very much for watching this video and uh, i will see you guys uh, in next video